Janine says, quote, I don't want to get a call saying Liz is dead and I didn't make an effort on repairing the relationship. Um, Which is why I wrote into the show. Right. I can see Liz laughing over there, but um, that's why I wrote into the show so that I never have to have that question of what if. This is my what if. I am making that effort by being here, by, you know. Really? This is your effort? I, it is my effort. You, This woman has made me so angry my entire life, and this is just the, the head of it. Would you all like to know what I think? Yes. Please. It's very clear to me that there's a lot of emotional baggage here. Yes. You're not responding to your mother based on what she's doing today. You're responding to what she did when you were a teenager, what she did when you were getting married, what she's done in the years since then. There, you got a lot of built up unfinished emotional business with her. And the same thing with you. You've, you've been hurt along the way. You've been rejected. You've been criticized. And so all of this is, is going on in this toxic circle. Mm -hmm. And I can promise you, having buried my father and having buried my mother and having buried Robin's mother and Robin's father, we've been through this. Right. And what seems monumental today is going to seem very trivial when there's no chance for a do-over. Because when they're gone, they're gone for right. a long, long time. Right. So what I'm trying to say to all of you is that it is worth putting in some effort with some guidance because I don't think you wouldn't deteriorate into looking backwards. And let me tell you, when you look over your shoulder, your history does become your future because you drag it all from behind and mm -hmm. put it in front of you and you just keep living that legacy over and over again. Right. There comes a point when you got to say, not even God can change what has happened. The past is over. The future hasn't happened yet. The only time is now. We've got to live in this moment and start here and now. You weren't a very good house guest. Um, uh, that's not a question. No, I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not thinking of an answer. That, that wasn't a question. Yeah. You weren't a very good house no, guest. No, I wasn't a good house uh, guest. You were miserable. I was very mis I was miserable. And you spread that misery around. You two have a family. Yes. And, and it's a nuclear family, and you're entitled to do it the way you want to do it. And she either needs to compliment that or stay out of it. And she did raise you. She might have a few good ideas. Don't, don't you miss having kind of a mother-daughter talk with her? I've never had a close relationship with her, and that's the hardest part, yeah. is that... But wouldn't you like to have that? Oh, I've always wanted that. Dr. Phil, they say you're not supposed to have a favorite child. Uh -huh. Janine was always my favorite child. Well, you know we're airing this, right? I know. <laughs> I know. Yeah. And I, I, I love her so much. Yeah. That's why it's been so difficult. And Nathan, I love Nathan. I'm going to get you a, a, a family therapist that's going to sit down and, and set up some ground rules. I, I tell you, if, if I could work with you guys weekly, I, I swear I could fix this in my sleep. 